everybody, this is your girl, the Queen Jinx. You are in my kitchen right now because I am currently working on my meals to go. I'm waiting on my turkey wings to come out of the oven. I got one more hour on those. But let's go ahead and get to what's the 411 this week. All right, so we're getting close to the end of the NFL season. I'm so excited. A lot of teams are making it to the ending playlist. I'm tired of this thing not fucking working. Okay, so yeah, so we're getting to the end of the NFL season, and of course, NBA is starting to get intense now. I haven't really took the time to catch up on my NBA stats, so I'll definitely keep you guys up to date with that. But as far as I know and that I remember from the last time I checked the standings from before the games yesterday, Philadelphia is still number one the last time I checked. Um, and, of course, a couple people got bumped up to the top ten, which is great, fabulous, wonderful, messy. All right, so also I want to talk to you guys about how you should be more attentive to the signs your body gives you when it's time for you to go lay your ass down or signs that your body gives you when you're stressed the fuck out me personally signs that i get all the time acne it's like the number one thing that always fucking happens to me when i'm stressed out or when i'm going through some things so now i'm taking initiative to you know be mindful of the things that stress me out try to stay away from those things or just try to not let it get to me because i'm the type of person I will sit there, let stuff build up, and then when it's time for me to explode, I explode. And I hold no remorse. Um, but, you know, I take time to now definitely meditate, exercise, which helps relieve a lot of stress in my life. Also drinking more water now, which is part of my resolutions or one of my day-to-day -day goals that I'm trying to work on and get better at. So, and of course, this meal plan shit. So, we're going to see how this goes. Um, I'm going to try to work it out until my birthday comes because I'll be 25 this year on the 25th of May. So, um, I'm so excited about that. Um, I also want to talk to you guys about the meet and greets that are coming up. I'm going to have one at the end of January and then I'm going to have another one in February. Um, and for the uh, Floridians, I will also be there in May for my birthday so if you guys are in orlando florida you're more than welcome to come and celebrate my birthday with me in may and uh hopefully we can all turn up and have a good time um also i wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of reviews that i wanted to um touch base on uh of course cardi <laughs> cardi ended the year and started the year off um she ended with cardi uh barnier cardi which I love that song. I just got done listening to it. It's amazing. Um, featuring 21 Savage. And of course he just got to do the utmost. As always. Um, and then of course she came out with a new song. Well not even her song. But she featured on a remix of Bruno Mars Finesse. Which was on his 24K album. Um, the song with her on it. Just adds more flavor to it. The song already originally with Bruno on it was amazing but now that we got a little hip-hop kick to it you know really bringing back the in living color um scenes and everything was amazing i love how they did the whole video um i really appreciate them for bringing out back the 90s era and i just happened to go in the store the other day and i see a lot of 90s stuff starting to come back into trend again and i'm just like you know what 90s was that decade like Everybody loved the 90s. Even the older generation could tell y'all. Like, yeah, 90s was the shit. Like, hair asymmetrical cuts. The big gold bamboo earrings. The little rope chains. All that shit. The big ass watches. The pinky rings. All that stuff. And, the, of course, the fly ass colors and the outfits and stuff like that. So, it was no doubt without a doubt in my mind that, you know, they hit it off correctly and i'm so appreciative of that um also another review that i wanted to do was talking about the movie bright with will smith and i don't know who the the grunge looking nigga is in actuality i don't know his name so if y'all know y'all comment below but um yeah bright was definitely a good movie very entertaining and of course will smith always got to put his little underlining comedy in there but um, as far as the reviewers, I don't understand why they said it was a bad movie. I enjoyed it. It was action-packed. I love action movies. 
Um, and like I said, of course, Will Smith always got to add his little comedy in there. So um, he definitely gave it a, a more modern feel and not made you feel like, oh, the only thing they're talking about is racism and, you know, how different people get treated and all this good stuff. Um, but I just feel like, you know, the movie definitely pointed out a lot of stuff that's going on in today's world. And I feel like the critics just didn't want to bring attention to that. But it's happening. Like, critics, I'm sorry. No matter where you go, movies are going to replay what the fuck is going on in real life. Like, it's not something that can be stopped. It's not going to ever stop. Just like how music always speaks on what's going on in the streets that nobody hears about. It's going to continue to happen because, like Twitter said, why they're not banning Donald Trump is because um, even though he says the wild, off the wild, off the wall things that he says, at the end of the day, it's up to Twitter to bring attention to the public about the things that is being done. And I just feel like if he didn't have that outlet, he will have nowhere to put this bullshit that he's putting out because that's all he's doing. He's just talking outside of his neck, saying that he got a bigger button than Kim. And I'm just like, I don't want to be a part of that. Like, I have nothing to do with that beef. I don't know them folks over there, you feel me? Like, prayers to them. You know, I hate that your dictatorship is the way it is, but I didn't make it this way, you feel me? I had no control over how y'all shit ended up. I wasn't here umpteen years ago. I didn't create these dynasties and these emperors and these rulers over country. I didn't create none of this shit. You feel me? So I feel like I'm not about to be a part of it. Just another reason why I would never fucking go into the army. You know, salute to all my soldiers. Power to you, but it won't be me. You feel me? I'm not fighting another man's fight. You feel me? I feel like the president and the fucking dictator need to be fighting. If y'all want to do all this war shit, it need to be the leaders. Okay? It doesn't need to be innocent people that have nothing to do with nothing. We shouldn't be a part of the shit. And I just feel like it's ridiculous. But, of course, because he's white. And I don't want nobody to feel offended by that. But because he's a white president, he gets away with shit. Now, let Obama have been doing all this tweeting and what, 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 what. They would have been on CNN, NBC, Fox. All them news channels would have been bashing Obama like, Oh, he just gets on here and talks reckless like he's a gangster. Donald Trump do it, and he said he a fucking genius, and y'all sit there and listen to his ass. How? How are you a fucking genius, idiot, and you filed for bankruptcy more than once? Please explain. Then on top of that, you don't even file your taxes. So how smart are you? You know? But, hey, it is what it is. He's president now. Nothing I can do about it. All I can say is... When it's time to vote again, y'all bitches better vote for Hillary or whoever the fuck is running against this motherfucker. Because I'm not about to deal with another four years of this bullshit of having my president do anything but just tweet all damn day and sign stupid shit. Like, stuff that's not helping the country. Like, you see there is poverty in the system and you're not doing anything about it i'm not saying bail these people out everybody is responsible for the decisions that they make at the end of the day but what i am saying is give people a chance to make a way out you feel me give them a way to make a way out and even if you don't give them a way to make a way out give them somewhere to lay their fucking head at night my name you got hella people skid row you got people on edgewood in atlanta Sleeping in sleeping bags and tents and shit. And it's like, for what? When that whole piece of land is owned by the government. So why in the fuck y'all just gonna put a big ass building? Because y'all be quick to throw up a fucking prison to throw people in there. So why not throw a big ass building for people to go to to go sleep at night? Why not? And if they cause a problem in the building, kick their ass the fuck out and put them in jail. Like, it's, it's common sense. But obviously, common sense is not so common no more. But, you know, um, that's one of the things that I also wanted to work, work about. Uh, well, not work about, but that is one of the things that I want to work on getting to is having somewhere where these homeless people can sleep. Like, they have shelters and stuff like that, but they need something more than shelters because, obviously, shelters don't have enough room. It's very few in every city. It's The most I've seen is, like, three. 
at the most. And then they'll do the little dinners or whatever and lunches in the afternoon. Like churches will go and do lunches in the afternoon for them. But here in Georgia, you can't even get food to homeless anymore unless you got a freaking uh, thing to do it. And I'm just like, why I got to go get a piece of paper say I can feed the homeless? Like these niggas got to eat just like I do. It's a free fucking country. But yet y'all want to make it so unfriendly to the point where everybody got to get some paperwork or some document just to help somebody out. And it shouldn't be like that. Because do you get a paper or a piece of paper to help your broke-ass family members out? No. And them motherfuckers be quick to take you to court like, oh, bitch, you remember you did this and I did this? Like, what? These people need help, real-life help. I'm not about to sign no damn document stating that, oh, I need permission to go feed. No, I'm going to feed the homeless, okay? If you want to come lock me up, I dare you because I'm going to give citizens a rest, okay? You're stopping a progressive thing from happening and and it doesn't make sense to do it um but you know that's the government for you they'll try, try to control any and everything in their fucking sight just so they can say ha 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 i got power over you motherfuckers when it's like ha 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 we can really overpower y'all if we really wanted to and not vote for nobody if we really want to take control of fucking america like we're supposed to but people don't know how to work together and that's always been an issue with america don't know why. Then they wonder why Chinese people is the smartest people. They wonder why uh, fucking Indians are so smart and why Jews, you know, make so much money. Because they work together as cohesive. You feel me? Like, you know how a clock goes? Like, the gears match up as it turns? Yeah. We don't do that. You feel me? If the clocks can't do this and do all that, then ain't no working together. That clock is fucking broke. But you think anybody cares? No, because everybody out here for self. And it shouldn't be that way. If you're going to be out here for something, be out here for a bigger purpose. God didn't put you on this earth to just worry about your damn self. But half y'all insinuate that and half y'all be acting like that's what the fuck it says in the Bible. And it does not. Not once did God say, oh, I want this person to do this. I want this person to do that. And I want this person to just do this. No. Everything you doing is for a greater purpose. Remember that. But a lot of y'all forget that. And then y'all be the main ones that go to church every Sunday and go to Bible study every Wednesday. But yet, you know so much about the Bible. But did you know that Je Jesus, is not, Jesus is really Yeshua? Probably 9 out of 10 of y'all do not know that. But you'll sit here and argue with me that it's Jesus when there was no J in Hebrew. But it's okay, though. I'm going to let you slide. I'm going to let you keep thinking what you're thinking because it's going to be a day somebody slaps the fuck out you, makes you wake the fuck up, and be like, oh, a light bulb just clicked on. That's not how you say half of these words in these Bibles. Half of this stuff is probably not even real because we don't even know what the real Bible is. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a little old jinxy cat telling you what's the 411. But anywho. I'm going to wrap this up because I got to get back to tending to my food. Um, like I said, I'm just waiting on my turkey wings. My rice is done officially. Um, and, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, you guys, I hope you enjoy your week this week. Make sure that you guys are subscribing to my channel. And also make sure that you follow me on all of the social media outlets so you can stay up to date with the meet and greets and we can have discussions. And um, also, I will be doing interviews soon. So if you have music that you want to be interviewed about or you got a new record that you're about to drop or if you got new clothes that you want me to sponsor, please let me know. All contact info will also be available to you. Just DM me on my Instagram or you can message me on here and uh, we can get it popping. You feel me? <laughs> So, thank you guys for tuning in to What's the Form 1, Episode 8. Appreciate y'all. Peace, love, and soul train. No, I'm just like, <laughs> But peace out, everybody.